So I'm harvesting nettles. This is the richest vegetable that's growing on the farm. The richest uncultivated vegetables. Wherever nettles grow is the richest soil. So their plant bodies will have the highest nutritional density of vitamins and minerals. So I've picked up the top bits of the nettles uh, into this colander, obviously with a glove, but you can see here's one that I just to pick up the top series of leaves. So I pick those, these leaves here, and sometimes these two here, just those I pick. And here you can see, this is one I decapitated. I don't want ones that are flowering. Here you can see this one right here is flowering. This one right here, you can see this is flowering. So I've harvested a meal for myself of nettles here uh, into this colander. This is an area which has cobbles, old uh, plastic from uh, suppressing weeds. These are kind of rain barrel um, things that I have a collection of. So all these nettles and things are here, which are regularly trimmed back to access these different things. Otherwise, if the nettles would be up to here, if these hadn't been strummed back regularly. But no, there's no chemicals or anything here. The only, that, that's very recent, that pile of plastic. So it's a very rich area where the chickens used to always reside. So it's a very, very healthy soil. So I'm gonna make myself some, if you will, nettle spinach. I'm going to steam that with some minced lamb and potatoes. So it'll be a very healthy meal for me to have. So this is what I mean when I'm picking them. I'm gonna touch them now because I've taken the glove off. But here you can see the top floret of, of this nettle plant. You just pick it off like that. And you can take these two top leaves as well and add that to the pile. So it's this kind of top floret here. You can see that top floret. Let's see, there we go. Pluck and that. And yes, you have to wear the glove because I don't want to get stung. But once this is cooked, the sting is all gone, but you get the wonderful uh, nutrient factor of nutrient dense vitamins and minerals in a vegetable form, which when I'm feeling the way I am, I want nutrient dense food to make me feel healthy. So I'm harvesting, I'm harvesting my health from the land by picking, picking some nettles to steam with my um, little bit of minced lamb and some potatoes. And I will show you how I do that in a minute. So here's my harvested nettles. Uh, nutrient dense vegetable. Nutrient dense food is what I need. So this is the most nutrient dense vegetable there probably is anywhere in Ireland. Um, and I'm going to have that with a bit of minced lamb. So a vegetable and meat, both nutrient dense. Now before I went out, to harvest the nettles. I'd sliced my spuds long ways like this. There's butter in there, salt, pepper, and caraway seeds. So they're roasting in halves. So the next stage is gonna be putting the frying pan with butter on the center ring of the uh, aga. So the frying pan's on with a big glob of butter. And that should melt away. And then I'm gonna get the little bit of mince that I have to add to that. Okay, butter's melted. Mince goes in. I'm gonna chew it up. I'm not making it into a burger. It's, um, this is to, it's to flavor 
or add a different flavor to the um, metal and uh, a more intense bit of protein. And I'll probably add an egg later. But this is the first part. Okay, break it all up so it cooks really quickly. Okay, there we go. Then, carefully do this. Okay, this is all the nettles. Now, take another stab of butter. Lots of fats in this meal, but not for dogs. I'm gonna put this butter on top here. Well, actually, I'm gonna roll it in because I want the butter to go through all of it. Okay, now, gotta get all the edges in. Now I'm gonna put a lid on it. I've gotta get the lid. Okay. And put the lid on top. Now I leave that for a few minutes. And when I open it up, the spinach will be cooked and I might add an egg, depending on how hungry I'm feeling. Okay. Whoops, sorry about the noise. It's already doing its thing. The meat is literally just to add flavor and an extra protein. So I'm also going to, I always love peas with, um, peas with uh, spinach. So those are some frozen peas. Looking good. Okay, next stage. Oh, that's looking brilliant. And I keep calling the nettles spinach because you cook them like spinach. But they're not spinach, obviously. They're nettles. So, nearly done. Nearly, nearly done. Woo! Noisy lid. And let's see how the spuds are doing. Nearly done. Whoop! I've steamed up my camera. I've cooked my camera. Okay, a few more minutes and then supper will be well, ready. I've opened it up and I've decided that I do want um, some eggs. Which I suppose is a good sign. It means that I'm showing that um, I'm hungry. So... Okay, there we go, a few more minutes. Okay, Oop. I think we're done. I think we're done, so I'll take that off of the ring. Close the ring, put it on top of the ring. Now, let's see the spuds. Oh, the spuds are done. Look, those spuds are beautiful. Okay, it's gonna take me two hands to plate it up. So I'll plate up my supper. Oh, yum, 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 oh. yum. Hopefully I'll be able to eat all this delicious food. The leftovers, I can, if I have room, I'll fill in with leftovers. <clears throat> but <coughs> hopefully this highly nutritious meal of proteins and vitamin dense for pro vitamin dense proteins and vitamin dense vegetables will um, and flavor will get me going again.